Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Research. Hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to discuss about a very interesting and cutting edge technology, a topic called explainable AI that to an healthcare use case using Python, random forest, gradient boosting classifier and line. Now let's take an example for understanding why XAI before we see what is XAI. I am going to apply a credit card from a bank and the AI model reject the card application. So I'm applying a credit card, it is getting rejected from the bank. And the bank is using the AI model. Definitely it surprises me because I've been a customer to the bank for the past 10 to 20 years. And why it got rejected? What went wrong with the system? Is there anything wrong in my credit score? So these type of questions keep coming until I get a clear explanation. Until I get a clear explanation, these type of questions popping up. Let us see one more example. In a medical diagnosis, based on the lifestyle and the vital parameters, AI model predicts whether a person will have a diabetes or not. Now the question is, on what basis the AI model predicts the possibilities of the diabetes? Why and what the drivers are for getting the disease in future? All these AI model, it works like a black box model. We give some type of input, a parameters, a features. Our AI model takes the data, it times the data, it tests the data, and gives the predicted output. But as an end user, I need to know what is going on inside the AI model. So the real purpose of explainability in AI is to understand how an AI output was calculated and the more explainable the system, the human understanding of the AI, AI internal mechanics. It is important to convey why the application was rejected and what corrective actions the applicant may take to amend their behavior. It has to convey the drivers for getting the disease in future. So this is the core of XEI. It is the combination of all these three major fields. The first one is the human computer interaction. The second one is the social science. The third one is the artificial intelligence. In the human computer interaction, it creates a human centric technologies. In the social science, how humans within the society gave and received the explanation. Similarly, in AI, the intelligent computer system with a machine learning being a specific subfield of artificial intelligence. So this is the combination of all these three fields. In other words, it is leveraging all these fields to make a better XAI. Our trust in the ML model increases when 
the x was predicted because of y. As we have seen in the previous example, the person might get diabetes because of a glucose, b the physical activities, c the food items. If the ML model gives this type of explanation, then our trust in the ML model increases. Now the goal of the XAI is to achieve the following things. The trust, the association, the reliability, the fairness, and identity. If the model generates a lot of false positives, then the end user will lose the trust in the model. When we talk about the association, the correlation that are unexplained or spurious correlation that make the model impossible to interpret. So it is important to capture the true correlations, the reliability, AI model to ensure that the end user has enough confidence in model production. If this is not available, then no user will trust the models. Then comes the fairness. AI models should not discriminate among religion, sex, class and race while it is generating the predictions. Then the identity. Without revealing the identity, the privacy of the individual, the privacy in the identity management while generating XAI is a very important. Now let us see the implementation or we can say the demo. The purpose of the demo, I'm using the notebook that is Jupyter notebook. Uh, let us import some of the standard libraries like a pandas numpy matplotlib along with that let us also import line so in order to install this line you just give pip install line so that will import the line packages and i'm running it now and then the next the next time reading the csv file diabetes.csv this is a very small data set and it has got some other features and then let us see the um, the head that is uh, some sick five rows it is pulling it out so the feature for features are pregnancies glucose blood pressure skin thickness insulin bmi diabetes pedigree function age along with the outcome so the outcome shows whether it's a uh, the given data is uh, it's meant for uh, diabetes or not. So one for yes, zero for no. And then I'm just printing the diabetes uh, data set dimension and group by the outcome, the histogram diagrams. And then it is showing all each and every features, how much uh, the um, influence everything is showing it here and then we will do a small data clean part and is there any null values or not uh, we will check that also we will also check some of the feature important uh, column values and then let's do a small feature engineering exercise um, then the model selection for the demo purpose, I've used only two class figures, that is the random forest class figure and the gradient boost class figure. So let us import that one. Then we will see, we will evaluate those um, uh, model. Um, yeah, now we will import a train test split. We will, we will make the split of the training or the test data. And then we will put inside this uh, loop for fitting the model. Once this is done, this is, yeah, this shows 
the, um, the score value, the accuracy score value. So the random policy shows 76.2 and whereas the gradient boost it is showing 77.3. Now till here as usual we are finding the model, we are fitting the model and we are getting the values. We are finding the accurate value, all those things done. After that we are going to use the XAI part. So the XAI part, the first part I am going to give some of the seed values and then I am giving yeah my explainer and then I'm using the line then I'm using the table or call table or function and then I am giving x train the x train I've taken from the previous cell and then now I'm going to run the prediction the right value and next one it shows the number diabetes and no diabetes so these each and every color code it shows which particular feature is the influence of this model or not so i will also going to show the one more diagram this gives you more clear idea and now look at here the the green bars will show the positive influence of the particular feature and uh, red bars show that negative influence. So if you look at here, the glucose is more than 141, that plays the vital role for determining in this particular, in this particular uh, model. So uh, similarly, you can see these are the negative influence, this is the negative influence, and this is the positive. So, now in this way we are able to confirm which feature among all other features determine the prediction of diabetes so we have not only seen the model of the thing we have not only seen the accuracy of the model we have also seen which feature plays the vital role for getting this type of result so that is important right so in this case is the glucose the glucose is your main influencer for for this particular model so we have taken a very small data set but if you are taking the real uh, real data for the production we can determine which feature plays a vital role for this model So whatever we discussed here is just tip of the iceberg in XAI area. There are so many research work is going on in this area. For the sample code and detailed notes, you can check it in my uh, recent uh, Medium post. Thank you so much for watching this video happy learning and you have a great day thank you